What's going on, Capricorn family? Happy birthday. Welcome to Capricorn season and welcome and welcome back to my channel. We're taking a look at the good news, Capricorns only. What is coming our way that we do not see coming? So please hit the like button, subscribe for daily Capricorn content, join the membership family for exclusive content, and comment down below. Drop your birthday, sun, moon, rising, and let me know where you are watching from. Always shout out to the Capricorns and Cross Watchers in Michigan. Um, be sure to check out my second channel. Oops, links are down below. Find me on Instagram. My account is private. I do not offer personal readings. And Capricorns, the good news. Why do I feel like there's new commitments and opportunities coming? Work, career. We've already, we've seen consistently a new romantic thing popping up, but new opportunities New things coming towards you. We see a walking away from one thing. What is this situation where you are walking away or ending something and new confidence comes in? But similarly to what I saw in one of the readings on the second channel on the lounge is this energy of walking away from, I feel like it was for the water, water signs, but the walking away from something Choosing to end something or even being blindsided by an ending. Somebody, somebody's about to capitalize off of it. Turn it into a business. Turn it into a music project, an art thing, a book, a story. There is something that you are going through now that is emotional, could be a struggle, could even be a job termination. But I also feel like it is a new beginning, the starting of something, but also bringing in a lot of happiness. Some of you, it is a new romantic relationship. Could be ending one situation and walking quickly into something else. Um, that's been showing up in previous readings. Mm, mm, mm. Let's talk about things coming together. Shout out to the Capricorns that are 33 or turning 33. The Son of Baskets, Page of Cups. Capricorns, please drop your birthdays. The Queen of Pentacles, Mother of Coins, and the Knight of Swords. Um, can we see her where? She's going to be in my way. But notice all of this attention coming in. Let's be specific. When it comes to career and business, a lot of opportunities to make money. Those of you signing contracts, signing deals, selling a lot of houses, cars, whatever it is, moving a lot of inventory. I also feel like for some of you get, having the opportunity or taking a lot of opportunities to network, to get your name out there, to push a lot of things out. I also feel for some of you, if you are in this period of isolation, being by yourself, getting your creative juices flowing and writing down a lot of ideas, talking with people. It's the brainstorming, but being in this creative energy all in your head. And not only that, when I see multiple nights coming in, it speaks to me to a lot of changes coming in. So not just the night of air, but the night of earth. Let's talk about balancing things out as we end the year, start the year. Focus on things that have the most potential. So while you have a lot of these offers, suitors, men, women coming at you, companies, partnerships, you have the opportunity to just be focused on the things that are going to give you the most payout, the things that are going to give you the best or the most bang for your buck in the long term. But we see opportunities for stability, multiple opportunities coming your way creatively, financially. And again, this continuing narrative um, that we've been seeing all month of a serious little situation kicking off. If not a new business, a relationship. It's the tens for me. The ten of water, which we see as happiness here, a happy ending and a new beginning, right? That Disney fairy tale ending. But then you see this ten of knives here, which is a little less um, Disney. It's more dark, like an ending. But to me, this speaks to cutting things off. Like for those of you where 2023 was a struggle, it really be in the end of a struggle for those of you that have been putting in that hard work. Again, putting in the hard work, even when it seemed like everything was kind of falling through crazy and hectic. Those of you that have weathered the storm, you're weathering the storm. Honey, Capricorn, pay attention. 
Look at all this. Being the center of attention, getting everything under control, having everything under control. Notice the wand here with power on it. Shout out to those of you with Gemini or Aries in your chart, but this queen of knives as well. Being very disciplined is bringing in a lot of opportunities for you. So back to this knight of coins, back to this three of coins as well, putting your blood, sweat, and tears into something. And it's starting new, but this new thing being very stable. So I don't want to say getting rich quick by any means for some of you or like a fast transition, because definitely it is not that with this daughter of coins or this mother of coins. But whatever this change is, this starting this new chapter, this brainstorming and really getting focused and being determined to get it done, being disciplined, having a plan. Notice how her sword is in a book, an agenda, a planner, a notebook, a journal, having it written down, knowing exactly what the plan is, strategy, chestnut checkers Capricorn building something that is stable in the long term especially for those of you looking to be in control of your time or looking for creative control um, in your careers but I feel like those of you that are creative you writers people that do music um, Or those of you that do well networking and in front of large groups of people going through a major change. But it could also be this shift in your confidence as well when you walk away from something that you're willing to do something different. That things we see as you're happier in this walking away, things kind of slowly start to fall into place for you. And really at the center of this, and we've been seeing that pretty consistent, is you coming out of some type of I want to say uncomfortable situation, but it's a heartbreak here. Three of, um, three of swords, a heartbreak. And the threes for me. Please drop those repeating numbers. Capricorn, so three of earth, air, fire. There is a conversation or a confrontation. Um, that led to a separation, is leading to a separation, will lead to one. And this going with the flow, not resisting, okay, or going against the grain and somebody speaking on it or putting it into words. Notice how there's a, a dime in this person and somebody's getting ready to make money off of a situation. I do not know what it is. You, you know what it is that you do, but somebody's profiting from something. If not, you starting a business. I feel like some of you are mentally getting into a different space um, during this season. And with that, creating opportunities for yourself. And in particular, this financial opportunity, but repeatedly, there is a romantic situation that is getting ready to, to come towards you. Those of you are speak, speaking somebody into existence. Some of you, shout out to the Sagittarius cuspers, uh, but those of you may be speaking a Sagittarius into existence, but slowly but surely speaking new people, places, and things into existence, new opportunities. Be careful about the things that you say and how you're saying it, what you're saying to people, Capricorns especially during this period of isolation, because what you are saying and doing, your mentality is everything. It, you're making things happen this season. If you say it, you'll have it. So be careful, again, this five of pentacles, about what it is that you're asking for or what it is that you're working for, because just as quickly as you ask for it, you may have it, and it may not necessarily be what it is that you want. But we see opportunities for success, abundance, Sagittarius, Virgo here with the hermit and a lot of you spending this time alone and again getting a lot of things done being very motivated during this time but I also feel like taking some time to be alone and focusing on yourself some of you your physical appearance changing the way that you look changing the way that you dress but um those of you that have been sacrificing for self focusing on self during this season and we see that even so not just with this um hermit here in the sun but even with our nine of pentacles here in this father of um, 
sticks or fire. Quickly moving on, gaining this new confidence and moving forward. I feel like things are really getting balanced out as well. Maybe it's all of the breaks that come, at least where I'm at. Christmas break, New Year, these breaks giving somebody, you know, a chance to breathe, to have some time to themselves. And to really start planting seeds and getting a, I feel like there's a particular project that somebody is getting ready to get off the ground and something in particular that maybe somebody had in mind previously, but now somebody's in a position where they have the time or the finances to really invest in something. See that seven? We'll put her here. And even when I think of the seven of coins, it really speaks to a, a, a time of growth. And we see this seven and this three here, which is that ten of pentacles, which speaks to a time of abundance. Again, things just kind of falling into place. Things just kind of walking, just kind of, excuse me, not walking, working out. But those of you that have been doing a lot of walking instead of talking, Shout out to my watchers in Memphis. Makes me think of hustle and flow. Planting those seeds mentally and then physically putting things into motion through your actions. Back to that king of wands. Back to this um, queen of wands. Back to that night that, it, right? Making things. That, it's the action that you're putting into your thoughts, into these goals, into the things that you're writing down, into the things that you're saying, where you're getting results, but those, be careful. Those of you that, you know, are being flippant or reckless with your tongue or emotionally out of control, do, letting your intrusive thoughts win, be careful. Again, be careful what it is that you're saying, how you're speaking and what you're putting out there. There's also going to be a need this season um, to keep your emotions in check to keep your emotions in check. Also, to not accept an offer that seems too good to be true. We see the devil here, Miss Robinson, and the tower here, Scorpio Aries. I repeat, there is a heartbreak, a walking away from a situation. There may be a need to not go back to a place where somebody is having second thoughts. Somebody may be regretting an ending, I repeat. And we did a reading on that earlier. So again, subscribe, like, comment down below. Not comment. Check the playlist because we're organized over here. Somebody's having a change of heart. But really, I feel like through whatever happened, there's been some clarity here. Some of you, it's you're the one that may have the clarity while somebody's still banking on you still being blind or still having these rose-colored glasses on. Watch out for that. Especially some of you, again, it may even be a woman that you work with. And I say that um, as I see this empress here. But watch out for this um, motherly-like figure. Somebody coming in to be very nurturing and caring, especially those of you in the workplace. Saying that they're on the same page or showing you a whole bunch of love. You know, you got to be careful about that, about sharing ideas and what you have going on here. Small warning, but a lot of you, a serious relationship coming in with that empress. Some of you expanding your families, becoming wives, mothers, finding a wife. Heavy on the finding a wife. Some, And that has been consistent as well. The past few weeks, this energy of a proposal, making something official, tying up some loose ends. Shout out to those of you with Aries or have fixed inner sign energy in your chart. But yeah, some of you are protecting this new relationship that is coming in, keeping people at a distance or some of you in a situation that is long distance. Some of you, maybe it's not long distance, but this person is from, you know, not where you're from, whether it's overseas or from across the country. Shout out to those of you dealing with the Leo. Um, but an unexpected relationship coming out of somewhere. Again, this nurturing, loving energy. But also with this seven of um, water and this strength card here, there being emotions, but, some, but it not being quite clear where somebody stands. 
what's really you know starting to grow or build here. There's a serious relationship that is growing that's really casual, light, where I feel like it's like a friendship first situation or it grows. Somebody that you're, I feel like you work with or are familiar with, not like a total stranger. That um, I'm telling you, a serious connection starts to grow where you share a lot of the same ideas, passions, but there's a lot of, you know, physical attraction as well between you and this person. And it grows through communication. Good conversation here with the five of knives. Again, speaking what you want into existence, but something serious growing over time. This is not something quick and somebody jumping right in. This is building something, growing. Having the same long-term goals, wanting to travel together, learn something, thing, certain things, have businesses, there's somebody going from being single and speaking, having a family or being a wife into existence and quickly working towards that. And those of you that do and separate yourself from the nonsense, there's somebody looking to meet you. Notice the nines, the nine of water and the nine of um, coins here, but notice this man and this woman coming together. And then boom, and then boom, coming together and being in alignment. Stop playing with me, Capricorns. There's a serious relationship coming in continuously. Business opportunities and love. There is a smooth transition from, I feel like, one bad situation or a love situation gone awry, a heartbreak into something else. Unexpected. A separation has somebody moving on. Moving on. And, and I feel like getting in alignment with their person. Now, while I don't talk about soulmates and um, twin flames, because I don't, there's a whole laundry list of reasons why I don't do that. But somebody may be finding, you know, the one or that person, a serious situation during this time. But it's something slow. It's emotionally grown slow, but it's very slow and mature. Somebody's coming in to not play games with you or about you. But it is a slow build over time. Shout out to the Capricorns born in the year 77. Communication, building a situation. And this need to protect it. Wanting to protect this person, this situation. Capricorns, I'm not going to ramble on about this and your new little boo that's coming in. So please hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. Happy birthday, family. I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Subscribe for daily content. Check out my other channel. Find me on Instagram and Capricorns. I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.